Hello friends, uh, welcome again. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the fabrication of P-type semiconductor. Now earlier we discussed about the fabrication of uh, N-type semiconductors in my earlier video about the classification and uh, the fabrication of the N-type semiconductors. Now here we are going to discuss about the fabrication of P-type extrinsic semiconductor. So we know that when some amount of uh, impurity is added to a semiconductor, its conductivity increases. Well, <clears throat> here to fab increase the conductivity of the pure semiconductor or the intrinsic semiconductor, the type of impurity which is added for the doping purposes is the trivalent impurity. So what is a trivalent impurity? Trivalent means free electrons in the valence band or the outer orbit of the impurity there are three electrons in the outer orbit or the outer band or the valence band of the impurity atom. As opposed to uh, addition of pentavalent impurity for the fabrication of n-type extrinsic semiconductors. Here trivalent impurities added. Now typical examples of trivalent impurities are gallium with atomic number 31, indium with atomic number 49 and uh, others. Now uh, let us discuss the uh, mechanism of formation of p-type extrinsic semiconductors. Now when a uh, indium impurity atom is uh, added to a germanium intrinsic semiconductor. Let me show you in the diagram. It would be easy for you to understand. So, let us say what uh, whether a gallium or indium is uh, added to uh, a germanium semiconductor atom. Germanium or silicon. Here I have used germanium as a semiconductor and gallium as the trivalent. So when that impurity is added, that trivalent impurity positions in such a way that is surrounded by four other germanium semiconductor atoms. It has three electrons in its outer band or the balance these three electrons enter into covalent bond formation with one electron each of three of the neighboring germanium semiconductor atoms. So these three covalent bonds are formed with one electron contribution from both gallium and one electron from germanium, one electron from germanium, one electron from gallium. So in this process, three of its valence electrons are exhausted. It has no more electrons to participate in covalent bond formation process. But this covalent bond with this germanium atom is formed as this gallium impurity atom borrows one electron from another germanium atom. It borrows one electron. As here a vacancy is created because of the absence of an electron. This vacant space, the vacant space which is produced due to absence of electron is called as hole. Okay. 
the vacant space for electron is called as hole a hole is nothing but a vacant space an empty space waiting for an electron to occupy it so that is a hole so another uh, electron is borrowed by gallium and uh, thus the covalent bond is completed so here is there is a vacant space an electron comes from a neighboring germanium atom it fills that spot and uh, the covalent bond is created so this vacant spot which is created which is a hole this is responsible for current flow in p type extrinsic semiconductors now how it happens uh, when a hole is created this hole acts as powerful force of attraction for the neighboring free electrons they attract the neighboring free electrons to just come to that space and occupy it so the neighboring electrons rush to the vacant electronic site or the hole position and occupy that so this causes electron hole recombination but in this process when one electron rushes to fill a vacant spot or a vacant hole it creates another vacant space okay suppose uh, mm, let me have it here just i will show you in the rough suppose there is a hole here okay a hole is there one electron which is initially here which is initially here it rushes to fill that spot this hole spot so it creates another hole in this position in order to fill this hole this hole another electron moves to this place this occupies that place so which creates another hole here so you would notice that the position of the hole changes from here to here from here to here and it goes on like that so this is called as the propagation of hole this hole position changes actually holes do not move holes is an hypothetical concept the movement of holes is hypothetical it is actually the movement of electrons which creates vacant spaces which changes the position of the hole the vacant sites for electron so that is what creates the holes or causes the so, so called movement of holes there is no such thing like uh, the holes move the electrons move to fill the vacant spot called as holes which changes the position of the holes okay so let's uh, again go back so when uh, one electron rushes to fill a vacant electronic spot it creates another vacancy in the in its original or earlier position as i uh, mentioned you in the rough so this causes the movement of holes the movement means the change in the position of the vacant space so movement of holes means change in the position of the vacant space vacant electron space that is what is a hole movement so uh, in case of p type semiconductors the vacant electron space or the holes are the majority charge carriers as the absence or deficiency of an electron uh, 
causes the uh, semiconductor to acquire a positive charge. So this P in P type extrinsic semiconductor stands for positive. So here is the energy band diagram of uh, the P type semiconductors, more number of holes in the valence band, less number of electrons in conduction band. Thank you very much.